You know what time it is now, then? The Pirates what time is it next now? series is finally for the first time in 2024. The St. Louis Cardinals. That is cra- June June uh, 11th and yeah. first first series against St. Louis. That's wild. So, um, as every division game <laughs> right now, so much meaning because we see where the standings are. Literally, I mean, the, it's the Brewers and the rest. <laughs> And uh, as of right now, <clears throat> excuse me, the Pirates and the Cardinals are part of that rest, uh, and they are going to play the series. And uh, yeah, like they're just the Cardinals. I felt like we were writing off to a degree. Like they're just bad, but it's the Cardinals. Maybe they're going to find some way. And I felt like that's kind of what happened this year. You know, I mean, they started off really bad. I was like, yeah, it's the Cardinals you expected. Like, then like Contreras goes out with that crazy injury right the broken hand uh and they they felt like you know what we're gonna be better <laughs> and they've rose to the standings they they bypassed the pirates everyone else um it's a very i feel like evenly matched matchup here yeah um when Contreras went out i kind of wrote them off right um right. you look at them worse. on yeah, like on May 11th, this Cardinal scene was 15 and 24, coming off a seven game losing streak, right? 15 and 24. Uh, since then, they're 16 and nine. So, like, this, this Cardinal seems playing better than any other team in that, like, middle of the pack there. Like, they, and you know who else wrote them off, Jim? Who did? friend of the show dan zamborski because it was on that day that 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 streak started as well that's true this is all dan's fault if we want to put blame on this yes it's dan zamborski's fault if the cardinals end up making the playoffs over the pirates we gotta have dan on the show to just berate him because yeah he went hard after the cardinals after (laughs) after that losing streak (laughs) and ever since then it's been like it's just a, a a light switch flip flip so Right. Um yeah, like they've been they've been playing good. They've been playing good ball lately. Um and, and it's always scary cuz you know, you always know about the Cardinals devil magic. It's it, it it definitely took a year off last year, but you hope that it's not it's not back. Yeah, they're 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 playing pretty well. Uh Mason Wynn, you know, 22-year-old shortstop. Uh he's he's turned it yeah. on. Uh he's having a really a really good season. Um, you know, Paul Goldschmidt, who, you know, I think a lot of people kind of just wrote off. He's been playing a lot better as of late. So like their veterans are, aspect, are. I just want to interject here. I think this aspect, maybe two, three weeks ago, Rod Flez is awful. The Pirates could have a shot at this. Who are, you know, it's just like looking around the landscape. Like who are some first base targets? And it was, well, Paul Goldschmidt could be one because the Cardinals are bad. Mm -hmm. But also, but Paul Goldschmidt stinks. I don't know if he's like a legit target. And then the Cardinals are good. (laughs) And Paul Goldschmidt has also turned it on. So, yeah, it's funny. Like you're talking about this show, some irony here, how a few weeks have changed so much. Yeah. And, and I think the, like they've found, they've found guys who they, they're going to play every day. Like that's another thing too, with this Cardinals team is you see the pirates a lot of times messing with lineups, swapping things out a lot, using their bench a whole lot. The Cardinals don't do that. Like Mason, Wynn, Alec Burleson, Paul Goldschmidt, Nolan Gorman, Nolan Arenado, Brendan Donovan, those guys play every day (laughs) at their position. And they're pretty much slotted in the same spot in the batting order, you know, day in day out. So they um they, they've got their regulars and they've been just they've just been playing a whole lot better lately. Uh, Arenado's been playing better. Gorman's playing really well. It's a it's a team where you know they, it has it certainly has some star power. You know with Goldschmidt and 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 Arenado mm-hmm. and pitching wise, it's a bunch of veterans. You know Sonny Gray who's having an outstanding season. Lance Lynn who's Looked pretty good. Kyle Gibson looking good. Uh, Miles Mikolas oh, 
you know, sorry, he's he's had a little bit of a of a rough go. So you know, the Pirates will get uh will get him, but they do run into Sonny Gray and Lance Lynn this series, who are both having pretty. Gray's having a great season. Lynn's Lynn's having a pretty good one as well. Yeah, so that's the one I got to here as well. Uh, like the pitching. We talked about Lance Lynn. We talked about Kyle Gibson. We would like those signs for the Pirates. And I know we got a little bit of trolling going on about those guys that washed. They're terrible. Yeah, Lance Lynn's looking. No, we won't face Kyle Gibson, but Pirates are going to face Lance Lynn. And yeah, he's he's having, what, a three five eight ERA on the year now, uh, mm-hmm. which inflated a bit because his last start wasn't too good. But he's had a resurgence. And that's why I talk about like Rondal, which hasn't shown like like i just felt like those guys getting out of chicago and that white sauce organization could do a lot of benefit uh it's doing a lot of benefit for lance lynn right now of course returning back home to the st louis cardinals maybe helps a little more than Grandal returns to the pirates but yeah he's looking good and then like you mentioned we're gonna face that ace from them and he is just he's looking so good sunny gray He's looking really good this year. So that's going to be tough. But the Pirates will get, I mean, Tuesday's Paul Skeen's day. I'm excited. And again, like, this is one thing you're talking about with the Pirates. We're talking about the pitching on the, the Cardinal side, but it's Paul Skeen's, it's Mitch Keller, it's Bailey Falter. I mean, like once again, you can't ask for too much better. You feel confident with those guys. And now with Sunday, the good guys getting the rest. There's an off day today. Come Tuesday, like this bullpen should be refreshed, ready to use. So at least, you know, for Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> you're pretty much going to have a full bullpen to use. So like there's two right. wins that you could probably, like you feel kind of comfortable going in here and sneaking out two wins. I mean, if you're a Pirates fan, you have to go in expecting that you're winning every Paul Skeen start. <laughs> and you're winning you're winning Mitch Keller starts because that's what they've shown you is what happens. Like those two and guys actually Mitch Keller is winning six in a row. Six wins in a row. Um Paul Skeens, same deal. Like the Pirates win when Paul Skeens pitches. Their their offense is clicking. He performs well. Uh th- 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 yeah, it's it's been a good recipe so far for the last month or so. So yeah, I I feel good about this series. It's in St. Louis. But yeah, things line up. Things line up nicely. Like Paul Skeens versus Miles Mikolas, uh, you you feel good about that game. And then and then you basically have Falter, Gray, Keller, Lynn. And with the way Keller's pitching, I'll take Keller over Lynn. Sonny Gray, you know, better pitcher than Falter. But also, like Falter's shown you, he can go out there and just throw eight scoreless he's, innings. Like every he's once done in it a while. right. So yeah, you you feel good about this series, and it's a big. It's a big series because we really have we haven't faced the Cardinals yet. So this is starting like kind of the season series with St. Louis. And l- we talked about it for a while to start the show. These teams are all lumped together. So if you want to make the playoffs, you've got to the Pirates have to be better than the St. Louis Cardinals from this point forward. They have to be better than them. They are a game they're they are half game behind the Cardinals. If the Pirates are not better than the Cardinals from this point, June 10th to the end of the season, they're probably not making the playoffs, right? Right. So they have to be better than the Cardinals. A good way to ensure that you're better than the Cardinals is to beat the Cardinals when you're playing them head to head, right? I think Bob Walk always talks about it when he's on the broadcast. It like these games almost count double, right? Because if you win, they lose like automatically, yeah. right? Whereas yesterday, if the Pirates would have won, guess what? The Cardinals also could have won. But like these games, these matter a lot because you're facing there. We, we talk about those five, six teams that are jumbled up there. The only way to make the playoffs is to be better than them. So you've got to go out there and beat them when you're head to head. And so this is the start of that with the Cardinals this year. 100%. 100%. Uh, the games are definitely getting more meaningful right now. I get it. It is June 10th, right? Mm-hmm. Understand. But like you're making that point here, like this is why these are weighted a little bit more right now. Um, but yeah. So again, like it is kind of weird the first time that the Cardinals and the Pirates are facing off. Though I do want to say, 
Paul Skeens has met Lars Newbar so far in in AAA, and he made him look silly. He made him look silly. Yeah. So there's that because Newbar is also having a really really good season so far. Um, but yeah. So again, I know how we started at the beginning of the show. There is hope. There the is IL, optimism. Though, by the way, what's that? He's on the IL though, so that's good. Oh, my bad. He went back to the aisle. Okay, never mind then. I thought he was back off of it. Okay, cool. But, um, yeah, so like I said, the way we started this show, like this is the point of it. There is hope. There is optimism. There's a lot of stuff that you can look at and feel good about. And, again, it, it definitely is a starting pitching, but they have to find a way to hold those leads, assuming they get them, which you can feel pretty confident they're going to get one with Paul Skeens because he shuts teams down. And as Lou here in the chat, uh, the Pirates love the score when he starts too. So, minimum five runs tonight or tomorrow, I should say. <laughs> minimum five runs. Offense is breaking out. Yeah, um, the offense scores once Keen starts. Right. So, uh, but yeah, like like I look at this and say they, there's clearly a path that they can win two out of three, and they're going to need to. They need to start stacking. They they started to again as we talk about. Two out of three, the past two series. Let's start stacking some series wins. Um, and that way you can tread to the trade deadline. Be where you need to be and make those need improvements that you're desperately needing to make. 